like to hear a story. Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even among the gods. When Midgarda was young, Asgard was torn by strife. The battle born Asir, hating the Vanya's magic, betrayed custom and made murder in Odin's great hall. Gulveg of the Vanya was killed and burned, not once, but three times, and reborn as Freya, mother of the Valar. The war that came after echoes through the nine worlds still. Midgarda would drown in the blood spilled, and their dead would hide the sun. Those bravely fallen, now buried, wait for Heimdall to blow the Gjallar horn and summon them to battle one last time. Losses on both sides left each open to attacks from Jotnar and other monsters. So Odin, in his wisdom, proposed a truce and marriage to the war which Freya, oaths were made, horns were raised, and from the gods mingled spit was born, fully formed, Kvasmir, wiser than Odin himself. This was the same Kvasmir whose stolen blood became the meat of poetry. But that is another story. A good story, Holger. But I hear the voice of Styrbjörn in it. A wise skald takes his words from the gods, and his orders from the king. Eivor, come to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Need anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. We'll never find my Brunhilde. Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. 
That's all for now. Return any time. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. See you later, Swain. Sure. Must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Hamuram. Hamuram. Balka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya. I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. 
drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Sigurd, brother, when did you arrive? There's no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Dance. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention. ...as if it were... ...beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist... ...fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition... ...or your fear. 
I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done.
So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up, or you will be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die... Everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No. I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go.